Good morning, everyone. And welcome to the celebration of our Eucharist. And we begin our celebration today in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us into everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer, you are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. You alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who when Christ had been baptized in the river Jordan, and as the Holy Spirit descended upon him, solemnly declared him your beloved son grant that your children by adoption reborn of water and the holy spirit may always be well pleasing to you through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen, amen. chosen one with whom I am pleased, upon whom I have put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the streets. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering wick he shall not quench, until he establishes justice on the earth. The coastlands will wait for his teaching. I, the Lord, have called you to the victory of justice. I have grasped you by the hand, formed you, and set you covenant of the people, a fight for the nations, those in the life, eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from the confinement and from the dungeon, those who live in darkness, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, the Lord will bless his people with peace. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Give to the Lord, you sons of God, give to the Lord the glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Adore the Lord in holy attire. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The voice of the Lord is over the waters, the Lord over vast waters. The voice of the Lord is mighty, the voice of the Lord is majestic. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The God of glory thunders, and in his temple all say, Glory. The Lord is enthroned above the floods, the Lord is enthroned as king forever. The Lord will bless his people with peace. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak to those gathered in the house of Cornelius, saying, In truth, I see that God shows no partiality. Rather, in every nation, whoever hears him and acts uprightly is acceptable to him. You know the word that he sent to the Israelites, as he proclaimed to Jesus, Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all. What has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The heavens were opened and the voice of the Father thundered. This is my beloved Son. Listen to him. Hallelujah, hallelujah.
all were asking in their hearts whether John might be the Christ. John answered them all, saying, I am baptizing you with water, but one mightier than I is coming. I am not worthy to loosen the thongs of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. After all the people had been baptized, and Jesus also had been baptized and was praying, heaven was opened, and the Holy Spirit descended upon him in bodily form, like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my beloved Son, with you I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. All grace that we receive, whether it's actual or even sanctified, comes always through God's kindness, through his generous love, and through his mercy. Nothing that we do truly merits this grace within our life because it is that special gift or the salvation that it provides. But we know that it's through each and every one of the sacraments that we can receive all of the days of our lives, and the first one being baptism, that each and every one of us have been infused with the Holy Spirit. And as we have been infused with the Holy Spirit, we know that we're heirs with the hope of eternal life that will come. So my friends, once again, as we open up our scripture passages, as we ponder what God has in store for us, especially on this feast of the baptism of the Lord, we see that in that first reading, Isaiah speaks the words of the Lord for Jerusalem to take comfort because they are with their service is truly at the end. And we know that as we give service to the Lord in our daily lives, that God is asking us to be the best of who and what we are each day until the day that he calls each and every one of us to be with him for that eternal life. But then, my friends, we turn to our second reading. And we see Paul here writing that Christ saves each and every one of us through the bath of rebirth by the renewal of the Holy Spirit. And every time that we renew the gifts of the Holy Spirit in our daily journeys, we know that we're striving to do again what God is asking us to be, another Christ for our brothers and sisters that surround us each day of our lives. But then we turn towards that gospel passage today. And after Jesus has been baptized, the Spirit descends upon him in that bodily form like a dove. And the voice of heaven comes out and says that you are my beloved Son. You are the one in which I am well pleased. And we know that as we hear those words today, each and every one of us are those adopted children of God by our names, by how we live our lives, by all of the things that we do each day. And hopefully, we too are like Jesus, hearing those words from Almighty God, that he is well pleased with all of who and what each and every one of us are all about. So today, as we open up our hearts and our lives, and we ponder what God has in store for us on this particular day, we know that the grace of Almighty God truly has appeared in the form of Jesus himself with the gifts of the Holy Spirit coming down upon each and every one of us? Are we opening up our hearts, our lives, to allow that Spirit to work in us as we endure all of life's endeavors here upon this earth? Yeah, I'm not. 
Almighty God has truly come to each and every one of us. And so with confidence in God's generosity, we give voice to our needs and the needs of all of our brothers and sisters within our world. That we may realize our baptismal calling to minister to others, and that many may respond to that call through ordaining and lay ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us of the church, that we may realize the call we receive in baptism, and may, with the assistance of the Holy Spirit, bring light to all who dwell in the darkness in every nation, in every age. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our sick and for all those unable to attend Mass today, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the faithful departed, Dora Connolly, Michael Reardon, and especially Robert Edmund, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions, spoken and unspoken, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly God, may you be pleased with each one of us, your baptized children, and bless us always with generosity through him whose baptism we recall today, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. This week's second collection is the monthly collection.
Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which be put out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Leonard our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant Robert, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that Robert, who is united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And at our Savior's command and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, with your spirit. and let us offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace.
receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, now bring us to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy, be first protection, mind and body, and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ and the blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
listening to your only begotten Son, we may be your children in name and in truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. And may God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to the whole Prince of Heavenly Host, by the power of God, trust in the hell Satan, and all other spirits who crowd about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless each one of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, our Mass has ended. Thanks be to God. Have a beautiful week. Stay well and safe. And for those of you who would like to, to take home because our Christmas season now is ended and these beautiful plants need new homes. You know, say, we do have the sleeves that I will bring them out, you know, say after Mass. The only thing that we ask you to do is just leave that bottom tray underneath. And they're your new adopted children. Have a great day.